the, the reavers um, occurred on both the English and Scots side of the border from the eastern coast to the west. And basically, they were in the, the sort of more lawless areas of, of both countries. They were fairly remote from central government and they, they had power, they had the horses, they had mobility, they had skill at arms. And they tended to go off raiding against each other. Um, you know, just our, our hay crop wasn't very good this year. We've got our harvest in early and that wasn't wonderful. Let's go and see what uh, some of the others have, have got and see if they've got anything that we need or that we could fancy to sell. This they would take money, uh, goods, food, anything really. Um, sometimes it was a little more purposeful than that and uh, the, the, there were blood feuds, I mean, long memories. And uh, if somebody had upset the family or friends of the family or, or family of friends of the family, then you might well get together with some of your other friends and family and go over and then give them a seeing to. You know, just explain the way things are, uh, that you don't insult me and mine. Uh, and, and that would be fairly ferocious, bloody, uh, you burn the house down. Um, these tower houses are, they're not castles, but they are fairly strong in the way that they're built. And uh, the, the, the classic way to destroy one uh, was to set fire to it, uh, because the wooden joists across would catch and, and you, could dis you could do a lot of damage that way. Uh, now the problem was that there were some attempts at law <coughs> keeping and there were regulations. Um, you were supposed to wear a badge indicating which side of the border you belonged, so a, a, either a George or a, a Saltire badge. Um, but generally speaking, because you've got family on both sides of the border, you just have one of each and show whichever one seemed appropriate at the time. Uh, but just don't get caught. Um, you know, if, if the law were out and about, uh, you'd have to be a little careful. Um, you might well sort of cash things uh, until the, the heat died down. If, if you were recognised and your name was posted uh, as, as, as a wanted criminal, of course you don't want to be executed, it kind of ruins your social life. So you would, uh, you, you've got a means of a quick getaway, you can head for Lee or you can head over uh, the Solway, get a boat out, go over to the continent sell your military skills in one of the many wars that always seems to be going on in foreign parts and um, in fact you became a free lance. You, you would sell your lance to whoever uh, was willing to pay you. We get to see that different range of equipment. When the riding families went out, uh, it was always better to be spread into or married into uh, one of the bigger families. If, it, if lads like us came to visit, you'd really be onto a hard, hard bit. My family always married into the Kurs, so you upset us. We put 200 men in the saddle overnight, and the Kurs give us 600. So, click before we sold the, the small tower house the other side of Dalbiti, uh, Eddingham, the Livingstons. They didn't know anyone. So, that's just the nature of the beast. But uh, generally, the, the use of equipment hasn't really changed that much over a couple of hundred years. The, the equipment changes, that's about all. hell has got a, a, a German come Polish form of the Bergenet. Uh, rapier, quite a nice length cavalryman's weapon. Um, it's also a ladder brought back from the Netherlands. Been, my name was posted on the Kirk door, 
I had to disappear for a couple of years, otherwise I'd be hung. So I've come back with a Dutch brother-in-law. <laughs> As it happens. Hi. <laughs> the equipment, the saddles, we'll go into that in detail in a little wee bit later. But we were carrying every piece of equipment we would need to survive for three weeks. Minus food bag at the minute. The Mary can fill in with it with sort of general history of the Reavers and why these families went generally at one another's throats. This is the worst time of year. Everything kicks off now. End of August, September. If your hay crops failed, that's it. If you don't take someone else's hay, you're dead in the water. And that's it goes from here to, to November. And when people say, oh, they'd never go out in the winter, oh, yeah, it could be 20, 200, 2,000. Doesn't matter. Each of them would go out in a, in a small, within those troops, there would be mini troops of five. And those five would have equipment split up between them for their own mess. So every piece of equipment you need for that five to, to survive comfortably, with the weights split up between the, the, that particular five. My, my part of the one in five is a hand size. Hers is a, a cooking griddle. The next one in five carries a hand axe and some kindling. The next one in five has the wax dawn for the overnight accommodation. But the type of horse, before I go through all the various bags in, 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 in a short bit, the various um, breeds of horse that were available then weren't generally available here. Here it was the Galloway pony. Now these, this is the nearest thing you're going to get to what they were like. When I hunt for horses, I look for something that is a throwback to the Galloway configuration rather than the show Dale, Fell, or whatever. Luckily, when the breed disappeared by about 1750, it had already been bred into the modern Dales and Fell, the modern English thoroughbred. And after 1603, when James VI declared if you were caught riding one of these things anywhere and any of his officers found you, they would just hang you. Any tree, anywhere, that's you done. You're allowed to have one and put it in front of a cart, and you're allowed to have one as a pack animal. But don't ride it. So these things cost money to keep. So if you can't do anything with it, and you're restricted to a very small part of your landscape, well, they, found, they sold them. And people, so it didn't take long for someone to realize that uh, if you could actually buy them up and having shown some folk that were going off to the Americas, well, I can fancy some of these. Really good. So the biggest export at the time were these things going out of in this area, Glen Capel, Port and Dumfries. Shipload after shipload went to Carolinas. And the Galloway, you'll understand where I'm coming from, the, the Galloway pony was phenomenally fast over the first quarter mile. So when it went to the Americas, it was renamed, partly crossbred with some of the Spanish imported barbs that the Conquistador left there, and it's the modern American quarter horse. So the bloodline is still there, but in several different forms. But generally, on Galloways, the only colours that, that were available, now a lot of people call he say he's black, he's, he's, dark, he's dark brown. There weren't any black Galloways. There are cattle, but uh, not, not nags. Greys and dark bays, and that's it. It's had a poor muscle and, and she, uh, she doesn't need to do too much work. Uh, another weapon that was just coming into use in the period uh, was the smoothbore uh, musket or carbine. This one has a 39 inch barrel, it's quite a short one. Uh, it's loaded down the muzzle with black powder, gunpowder. Uh, which is then rammed down uh, with the musket ball, or in this case uh, with wadding, not actually firing the ball this time. Uh, the muscle's pointing in my direction, I'm quite glad of that. Uh, there is a, a pan on the outside of the touch hole, which is filled with priming powder, finer powder, and a slow match. Um, burns slowly and is brought down into the pan. Have a care. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I made a noise. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
However, as reavers, you're generally going out and you don't want everybody to know you're coming. Because they might lock up and they might hide their cattle or their dog, no, their cattle, um, and, and generally be ready for you. So you don't want to make a noise. Um, so the bow is, is much better from that point of view. You can go along quietly, you can pick off the sentries and watch towers, and then you've got a clear run. Yeah, 